In this video, we'll go over several concepts, including the Uniform Resource Locator, Fully Qualified Domain Names, Domain Name System, How Domains Are Organized, and explain the service provided by Internet Registries and why they're needed. A Uniform Resource Locator, or URL for short, is a unique text-based address that relates to a web page. These web pages are accessed by typing their URL into a web browser, such as Chrome, Edge, or Safari. The URL has a number of different parts. We have the bit at the start. This is the protocol, for example, HTTPS. We then have the host section. This is followed by the domain name, so here, craigandave.org. When we add this to the host, we have what's called a fully qualified domain name, www.craigandave.org. We then have a location of where something exists within that domain. And finally, we actually have the resource we're locating, which could be a web page or a file. The entire URL from start to finish is called the Uniform Resource Locator, or URL. Domain names are hierarchical, with smaller domains appearing lower down the list. In a URL, domains are arranged in order of priority from left to right, lowest to highest, and each domain is separated with a dot. For example, the domain name bbc.co.uk is broken down by the third level domain BBC, the second level domain co meaning company, and the top level country domain UK. Web servers carry out many functions. The most common are hosting websites and dealing with client requests. A web page, stored as text, is sent to a browser which then uses various rules to render it. So first, the client requests a URL via a web browser, e.g. bbc.co.uk. The browser sends the domain name to a domain name server. The domain name server maps the domain name to an IP address and returns it to the browser. A GET request for the web page is sent to the web server using its IP address. The requested web page is then returned to the client's web browser. Now, in the exam, you also need to understand the purpose of the domain service and its reliance on the domain name server system. So let's assume a request for a page has been made from a browser by supplying the URL www.google.com. The URL is received by the DNS server. The server queries a root name server. The root server responds with the address of the top level domain server for .com. The resolver then makes a request to the .com TLD server. The TLD server responds with the IP address of the domain's name server. The recursive resolver sends a query to the domain's name server, and the name server returns the IP address of Google, which is 8888 to the resolver. The DNS resolver responds to the web browser with Google's IP address. There are five global organizations known as Internet Registrars, governed by the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, or ICANN. They hold worldwide databases of all domain names that have been issued to individuals and companies. Internet Registrars ensure domain names remain unique and can only ever be used by one person or organization at a time. They often act as resellers for domain names to smaller companies who operate at national levels. All registrars must be accredited by one of the five global governing registrars. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. How is a URL constructed and what do we mean by the term fully qualified domain name? How are domain names organized? What is the domain name system and how does it work? and what are internet registrars and why are they needed?